you've been into RC for anything more than a few days, you've probably noticed a few electronics manufacturers and car manufacturers claiming waterproof. Now, one of the toughest things of waterproof is a servo. So today, we're going to test a Traxxas 2075 servo to see if it is indeed waterproof. We'll be using a Viper Pro gauge to power the servo while we dunk it underwater and we'll also be comparing it with a standard servo that we've waterproofed ourselves using common waterproofing techniques. Traxxas' 2075 servo can be found in vehicles like the Stampede 4x4 or used in tandem with two of these in vehicles from Traxxas like the E-Revo. It puts out 125 ounces of torque so it is a strong servo but it is plastic geared but what we're testing here today like we said is if it is indeed waterproof. This is the Traxxas servo being submerged. Uh, Traxxas servo functioned completely normal while submerged uh, in water for 30 seconds. This is the homespun waterproofed JR servo. And 30 seconds in. And it still continues to operate as normal. This is the Traxxas servo being submerged for the two minute test. Connect it to the Viper Pro gauge. And its operation is normal. The non-factory waterproof servo is going in for two minutes. In about five seconds, this servo will have been underwater for about two minutes. We're going to remove it. Stop the timer. Hook it up to the Viper Pro gauge. And it still functions. So our homemade waterproofing technique has held up fine. All right, after performing all these waterproof tests, I actually returned to the bench the next day and was a little bit surprised by the results. Now, initially, my two waterproofed servos survived the testing. The Traxxas servo is factory waterproof, and my homespun servo both survived the 30 seconds of continuous operation underwater, as well as the two minutes submerged and then tested. Now, the next day, the results are a little bit different. The Traxxas 2075 servo still performed flawlessly, so they pass, but the homespun one while it was dried off superficially, meaning I just got rid of all the loose water outside the case, now vibrates when operating. It still works, but the case has a noticeable vibration. The motor, something's malfunctioning inside, so it's not completely waterproof. It's waterproof enough that not enough water entered to damage it and stop it from operating, but it did eventually, I'd have to say, fail the waterproof test. This servo does not operate completely normally after being submerged. Now it took a complete day later for that uh, problem to show itself, but there is a problem. 